all the world's a stage, including your home when it's time to sell. With existing home sales down nearly 23% from last year, some homeowners now opting to set the scene for potential buyers, giving their spaces a mini makeover before putting them on the market. We staged the main living areas. We also repainted a lot of walls, but more importantly, massively decluttered the house. From a fresh coat of paint and unobstructed windows to updated furniture and floor coverings. A recent survey finding 81% of buyer's agents said staging made it easier for a buyer to visualize a property as their future home. We sort of have to move the seller out a little bit in order to help the buyer feel like they can move in. Stacy Esser, a real estate agent in New Jersey who runs her own staging company, says most homes don't need a full renovation to attract buyers. Small changes can welcome a big return. Sellers spending an average of $400 to $600 on staging. You've seen it time and again that when you put in a little investment up front, that increases the sales price of the home. Yet yeah, you will actually sell your house for more money every single time. Esser says staged homes also sell faster. This listing under contract in one weekend for $126,000 above the asking price. And when the average home spent 160 days on the market in his neighborhood, the owner of this home, staged by Esser, says he accepted an offer in less than a month. What is today's buyer looking for? So today's buyer is looking for more flexible spaces, open floor plans, great storage, work at home, places they can work out, and more informal family time spaces. Esser says wherever the eye rests, the sale begins. You really want to help a buyer envision themselves in that space. The most important rooms to stage, the living room, the primary bedroom, and the kitchen. So this is a house coming on the market, actually, this weekend. Esser taking us on a tour of this home's dramatic before and after. One of the things that we start with is always to take any heavy window treatments off mm -hmm. and to really just let that sunshine in. This would-be formal living room recently painted a neutral color ahead of its transformation into a more casual, flexible space. Tell me what you did in here. So first of all, I think what we did is we just made the room feel a lot larger and created multiple seating areas in this really large space. What can you do in the kitchen to tidy it up and make it more appealing to buyers? So one of the easiest things we can do is basically help a seller declutter a kitchen. Esther's recipe for a market-ready kitchen? Clear the counters, swap out bulky furniture, and accessorize with pops of color using items you already have in your fridge or pantry. You really jazzed up the kitchen. Yeah, we totally did. It's inexpensive and anybody could do this. These are actual just vegetables. And we like to use this cookbook to make it feel like somebody was just here cooking. And just switching out the table made a big difference. You combine the round table with the pop of white mm -hmm. and it really lightens up the space. And upstairs, Esther's team reverting this den back into a kid's bedroom. Bedrooms help sell houses. When it comes to staging, it's not just what's on the inside that counts. First impressions matter too. Don't forget about the outside. Make sure you're home has curb appeal. There should be flowers planted outside. People should trim their hedges. People should make sure that their lawns are taken care of. Simple touches to help prepare your home for showtime. It's great. And here's the thing, the best time to sell? Well, Esther says it's when interest rates go down, but that is unpredictable. So if you are thinking about selling your home, you should start decluttering right now because it takes a lot of time to get rid of those items that no longer spark joy. She calls it the 80-20 strategy. Do 80% of the work before your home hits oh, the market, 20% mm. after. Smart. Yes. Ugh. What great tips, I by know. the way. I know. And speaking of which, do you have any more staging tips? Actually, I'm not even selling my house. I just want to do it at home I know. <laughs> to well, make it look better. The first thing we can all do really is get rid of some stuff yes. decluttering, right? You're not trying to sterilize your home, but you know, those photos, the family photos. Which one me, in particular? That, that picture of me from my first job with extra highlights. Oh. Can we bring that photo back? We, I don't think we got a good chance. Oh. We didn't get a chance to see that photo. It's yeah. okay. We can move on. Oh. Uh, the other thing you're going to love is take down the drapes and the shrubs. Check this out. All of a sudden, natural light's oh. coming in. Oh. And if you have a busy wallpaper or maybe the paint is kind of an older color, yeah. Change it to a neutral, neutral? color. Neutral. It just livens up the room, yeah. clears it out, makes it zen, and people can imagine oh, themselves in that space. Those are great. Those great. Yeah. great. I do want to bring back your Bring back the yeah. picture. All right. <laughs> Vicky <laughs> Wayne, <laughs> Orlando <laughs> Circuit yeah, 2020. Was, there it is. There's the okay. picture. Can we zoom in? We just need the, one tight no. shot. Oh, Vicky. There she is. Little Vicky. Oh, Lindsay back shot. Yeah, no one told me you have to put low lights back in, so I kept <laughs> highlighting and highlighting and got blonder and blonder. I know. Always adorable. I've come a long way. Always adorable.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.